What's going on, y'all? Chuck Nunface here. On the table, I have what may be uh, one of my favorite knife pickups in recent memory. This is the Microtech Amphibian Ramlock production version. Uh, fairly new, been out for about, I think, around a year or so, something like that. Uh, but I've only just recently acquired it in the last month or so. And I've been carrying it a lot, I've been using it a lot, I've sharpened it, and there's a lot of things that I really, really, really like about this knife. So, uh, without further ado, if you haven't done so already, if you don't mind just clicking that little button in the corner and subscribing to the channel, I certainly would appreciate that. All your comments and likes, uh, they definitely help kind of get the YouTube algorithm moving in my favor. So, uh, if you don't mind taking a few minutes uh, and just dropping a comment as well, I would certainly appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, going into some length specs, this is not a small knife. It has a blade length of about four inches, if we're looking from right there. So it's going to be one, two, three, almost four. Cutting edge of about one, two, three and a half, about 3.6 inch cutting edge. And it's got that nice recurve. Overall, it's going to be over nine inches long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, about nine and a quarter inches long overall. So definitely not a small knife. Um, and as you can see right there, it's got that beautiful recurve, uh, these interesting flipper tabs, more on those later, not really flipper tabs, but thumb tabs, and of course the ram lock mechanism. So this is fairly new with Microtech as well. It's the, kind of their, their newest iteration, their answer to the, uh, you know, the Benchmade Axis Lock, which has been around forever. Um, and a lot of reviewers compare it to the Axis Lock. I don't really think it's quite similar to that. I think it's more, more like a, um, more like a Demco Shark Lock or a, uh, uh, Spyderco Mannix Ball Bearing Lock than the actual, than the actual Axis Lock. But the principle is kind of the same. I think what may, maybe it's just the way it's actuated on either side is what kind of, makes people make that comparison and not to the shark lock, so to speak. Um, but in any case, we'll do some size comparisons here. Um, let's see, what do we start out with? We will start out with Spyderco Paramilitary 2 right up top. So it's going to be obviously bigger than the Paramilitary 2. I don't have a Para 3 with me. Let's see, we can do this one. This is the ZT-0350. So that's going to be quite a bit bigger than the 0350 as well. Um, let's see, a buck 110, larger than a buck 110. What else we got here? We can do a Hinderer XM18. So it's giving more along the line of an XM24. The XM24 might have a slightly bigger bit blade, but um, overall carry, carry profile would be closer to the XM24 than the XM18, certainly. And what's what else? Here? We'll do another Ramlock Microtech, and that's going to be the stitch right there. So it's going to be longer than the stitch, larger than the stitch, but you know it's going to have a more narrow blade carry profile than the stitch would have. Um, yeah, got this. Had it for I don't know a little over a month or something like that, and I've been carrying it a ton. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram at Chuck underscore Nunface, you would have noticed uh, quite a few posts of this one right here. I have also sharpened it quite a bit. Um, not because it's needed to be sharpened, but just because I wanted to kind of put a, maybe a little bit of a better edge on the, um, on the recurve, uh, and just kind of, you know, once I get a knife, I get a new knife, I kind of like to sharpen it, even though the factory sharp, sharpness on these Microtechs has been very impressive to me. Um, any Microtech that I've gotten recently has just been really, really sharp out of the box. Um, and so I certainly appreciate that, but I have sharpened it a few times too. Um, and the M390 MK has been holding a good edge. Um, I have been, um, stropping it after use and everything else. And, but yeah, it's, it's been holding up quite well. Um, that M390 MK just instantly, it's basically Bowler M390, but Microtech has done, you know, it's their proprietary, uh, recipe, so to speak formula um, that Bowler does for them uh, and it's just tweaked a little bit it's I don't think it's anything revolutionary but it's just kind of just changed a little bit so I'm going to fix my lighting here real quick I've got a bit of a tilt going on Let's see if I can fix that I guess it's not too bad I guess I can live with it uh, in any case yeah the action is fantastic on this um, very easy to you know these these thumb tabs 
Initially, I was skeptical on the look. I was like, ooh, I don't know how those look and everything else. But in use, I found them to be, to be really a non-issue. In fact, I like them quite a bit. They work really well. Um, you can middle finger flick it just like that. Um, I tend to need a little bit of wrist when I'm finger flicking it, but uh, your mileage may vary. Um, the thumb flick is just really easy, uh, effortless, effortless. And then, um, you know, using that ram lock, of course, to just drop the blade shut. Super smooth. Um, initially from the factory, it will come with the screw side, which is surprising to me. The, the screw would actually be on the presentation side of the knife, um, which I found to be a little strange. Usually most companies will put it on this side, but when I took the, when I took the, the, paddles off for lack of a better term when I took them took them off I ended up just reversing them the reason I took them off is I wanted a nice flat spot to use the clamps on my KME um, and so I ended up just removing those and um, got a nice flat spot right there where I could use the clamps and get enough purchase on it because it is a little bit of a challenge using a guided system where you have to clamp something because it does have this swedge right here and it has that Medial ridge. I guess it's not a true medial ridge because it uh, a medial ridge would be right down the middle of the blade. But I don't know what else to call it, so I'm going to call it. Go ahead and call it a medial ridge. Um, you can't really get a nice purchase with your clamps on the blade. It, it will tend to rock a little bit, so I just wanted a nice flat spot. But it worked out well. No worries there. Um, one thing. Oh yeah. Speaking of screws, since I did mention that right there. That would be something that you might want to call a downside on this knife is there are a lot of screws. All right, you have one, one, two, three body screws. You have a screw for the stop pin right there. And then, of course, your pivot screws, which you would expect. Um, and then you have these raised uh, clip screws, which on this knife, I don't mind so much because this does not have the deep carry clip. Like, for instance, you do have the deep carry clip on the stitch and those screws can kind of get in the way uh, when you're putting it in pocket because as you can see they are quite raised and so that I don't know that's kind of a design choice um, maybe not one that I would have gone with but that's just kind of what they do I know their their screws are all made in-house or at least that's my, my understanding of it and so you know they don't do anything to countersink them or anything like that it might be better countersunk on this version, um, with a pocket clip not being a deep po carry pocket clip, I have no issues with it. In fact, getting it out of the pocket, it's kind of nice to have that to, to grab onto. So aesthetically, that may not be for everybody, but it certainly doesn't bother me. It's got that nice backspacer right there. I believe it's titanium backspacer. It could be aluminum, but I'm fairly certain um, that it is titanium. At least that's what I've heard from other reviewers. I haven't tested it or anything like that, but that's what I believe it is. And then you've got your ram lock housing right here, which is stainless steel housing. And then the ram lock just goes and actuates in there. Um, I've had no issues whatsoever with uh, the blade disengaging, you know, with spine wax or anything like that. Now I haven't beat on it or done anything like that, but I have noticed that it, you know, it's just been rock solid. So. I believe maybe the first iterations of these knives that were coming out, the Ramlock knives, they did have that issue, but I have not. I think they fixed it. They've got more purchase on the lock, the lock face to the tang of the blade, and it's been a non-issue. Um, let's see. What else can I say about this guy right here? Oh, not a ton of Microtech bannering, which is nice. I know that'll make a lot of people happy on these new knives. They don't put a whole lot on there. It's just pretty much the M390 MK. And then the Talon logo right there. And that's all there is on the blade. So there isn't a ton of other stuff going on there to, you know, that billboarding that Microtech um, is wont to do on a lot of their knives. And you pretty much just get it right here. So you've got the Amphibian and you've got the birthday on it. Well, this is 1223. So this is new production USA and then Microtech logo right there. Um, but really not bad at all. Um, all in all, I have just been super, super, super impressed with this knife. It cuts great. Um, and you will notice that it does tend to bevel, kind of backtracking a little bit here, but it's thin there. And then it widens to the tip. Microtech does have a, a, a history of, of making their, their tips thicker, of having more stock up towards the tip than they do in the belly of the knife. Um, it's just something that they've done for a long time. So um, if you're using a guided system, you will have that, that bevel rise up. Uh, towards the tip. It's just going to be one of those things that happens. Um, 
it's not, I, personally, I like that look. It doesn't bother me one bit, but just be aware that that will be the case, um, you know, with Microtech knives. If you're using a guided system such as the Wicked Edge or the KME, something like that. Um, but yeah, all in all, Ergos, man, feels great in hand. It's big. I mean, I definitely have plenty of room, but that jimping is not bad at all. You got room if you want to choke up on it. I mean, you could choke up beyond uh, beyond the, the handle there, but eh, you're going to be in the danger zone a little bit. But, I mean, it feels just great in the hand. All the grips, reverse grip. I mean, that one's not fantastic right there. But this way, reverse grip is great. Got that nice jimping right there, too. Not, a, not too aggressive, but it feels good in the hand. So, yeah, definitely nice there. But, yeah, it just feels awesome in hand. Really, really nice right there. Oh, and this is the aluminum version. Um, they do have a G10 version as well, but this is a fluted aluminum version, and I really like the aluminum version. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to like aluminum or G10, but I'm really glad I went with the aluminum because I think it looks great, it feels great, and I'm just really, really pleased with this knife overall. So um, that's probably going to do it for this one right here. Highly, highly, highly recommend the Amphibian for Microtech. Um, they are just, I've experienced all three Ramlock models that they have out right now. Um, this is easily my favorite. I can't recommend this knife enough, especially if you like a bigger knife. This is just really fantastic. Um, it's probably of any knife that I've gotten in recent memory in the last six months or so, I'm probably most happy with this one. I'm just super, super, super pleased. They're doing an awesome job with these. I, I like pretty much everything about it. Um, anything that I don't like is just, I can easily look past it because I like everything else that much more. So that's going to do it for me. Thanks for checking it out. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share, do all those good things. I certainly appreciate that. And stay tuned for the next one. Peace.